channel, Just Like Laura. Today, as you can see in the title, we're gonna be cooking. Today, I decided that we're gonna be cooking is brownies. So, I'm gonna start off with what we need and what you kinda need to make our brownies. So, our first thing is have a spoon on hand because we're gonna be needing a spoon. Second of all, we're gonna be needing our own spatula. That's gonna be helpful too. Second utensil we'll be needing is teaspoons. You know what they are, you know what they are. Then you'll be needing a uh, measure cup that um, has a little bit of water in it. You'll see why you need water. Second, we need two eggs. Two eggs to help our amazing brownies. And then another one is you need oil. Oil, our measurements are going to be, as you can see, one half of a cup. A half a cup of oil is what you need for your brownies. Second of all, you need around a cup for your water as in the video help. Next, you need to make sure you wash your hands before you even start cooking. It just helps keep all the germy stuff away. Second of all, you need cooking spray to help with it. Okay, so now, last but not least, you will be needing your mix, brownie mix. And I already put it in a bowl and to kind of already tell you about it. So then I wanna take my spoon first and I wanna just kinda, if you can see, um, get all like, like before anything's in it, it just wanna like kinda just get nice and um, dry as you, yeah, you guys see. Okay, so next you want to be using a pan. Awesome guys, yeah, a pan. So a pan you need a spray. And you need to spray your pan just to get the, you probably already know. You wanna spray it like that and then get the corners. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be good. So now what we're gonna do is, you don't need your oil anymore. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our two eggs. As you can see, um, you just add two eggs. Okay, let's try one more time. Awesome, two eggs, perfectly done. Now, you wanna put your oil in it, make sure it's one and a half, a, or it's a half of cup, sorry. And now you wanna pour that in. And here is what my check-in is on this. Awesome, okay. That next is our water, and you will be needing your uh, measure teacups. And so I don't know how the best way to do this, but I'm just gonna, I got it my one cup of water, and then I'm just kind of pour it in. And you need three of these. One, two, and now three. Awesome. And then you're done with that. Now you're gonna take your spoon and you're gonna store it up. You definitely wanna make sure that you always get the A's because it's just gross when you have just egg whites right on here, as you can see. And now you kinda wanna go fast and um, it's just kinda good and you wanna do that. I made a mess here. That's okay. We're just gonna put that in. It's okay. <laughs> Mistakes happen. <laughs> okay. It's taking a little while. And that's when your special aid comes in. Your special aid, you just wanna come um, and just, you can see up here, is you just wanna get around the edges to make sure you get all your rights. Just take your edges and then it just kind of helps with it. Nope, nope. And it's definitely an arm workout, so yes. Okay, next, what we want to do is, as you can see now, it's kind of dark now instead of that fluffiness. Okay, next, what we want to do is we want to take our pan that we already then we want to make sure we stir it one more time before we put it on the pan, and then we'll definitely do it again. It's a pretty loud noise. And now, as you can see, I'm going to pour it in here. You want to make sure that you put enough kind of in there to make it. You might have to definitely spread it out, but yes. And if this does not train out the way it is, you can definitely maybe add a little bit more water if it looks too thick. And if in if it's too thick, you can add a little less of something as you probably can go on. You can probably solve that. 
Now we want to take our spatula again and kind of scoop it off. It's definitely, it's kind of sticking to the bowl, but we'll have to scoop that out. Okay, I'm a little problem. Let me just scoop it out. And our next situation is we need to preheat, already, already have the oven on. Forgot to tell you guys that in the beginning. <laughs> is to preheat the oven to three uh, 50 um, degrees on your oven. Okay. So we kind of got our brownie mix half in there. And my hand got a little dirty, but that's awesome. That's what cooking's all about. And as you can see now, she needs to kind of be spread around on the dish. Okay. So if you're just making this for yourself, um, definitely you can just use your fingers. That's what I usually do. But I'm going to probably make this for um, just fun. It's, I might make it for somebody else. I don't know. So I'm not going to use my hands. Um, now, here's a lot of people they miss is they just leave this on the side and what it does is it burns in the oven and we don't want that. So we just want to take our hand, mix it off and then just take it, go around, go around one more time. And it might not go the best, but it just kind of stirs. Um, and then that, you can definitely just try to like yank it out of your hand, but um, yeah, you gotta get most of your hands up. Okay, now, now with your hands, if you need to wash your hands, that's perfectly fine. I probably will have to do that myself. But now we're gonna put it in the oven. As you can see, I'm gonna push this in the oven. I'm just gonna follow. <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna put it in the oven. It, might, you do, it doesn't matter if you put it on the top. I probably put it in the middle if you don't have anything else in the oven. Just to give you, not the high, not the low, just in between. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let that cook for around 30 minutes and I would love Love, um, to set, I usually set a timer just to me because I forget a lot of things. So that is what we're going to do and we'll be back right in a little 30. Okay, so guys, now we're done with cooling and the oven. And so now what we're going to do is you need a plate to put your brownies on and now you just need to cut it. I've already pre-cutted mine just because I've had some other mistakes that were not looking pretty. So now we cut it already out. And I'm gonna put it on my plate. As you can see, I'll put it right up here. And I always love to put it with a nice little um, ice cream and it's gonna be looking yummy. I will also have, I'm hopefully that you can subscribe and like this video if you like the video. And also I have down in this like description box, I have some details and tips that if I didn't um, share with you or made sense, you can definitely look down there in that box. Um, I hope, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy and hopefully you enjoy your brownies that you made with me. Thank you, just do it just like Laura. Bye.